Okay, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bakak Wadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation, you I came out there that's pushing this world in truth and sensitivity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. So, Abu Watazai, you I came out there, will be edified. And without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. This is Micah chapter 7, verse 7. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord Yahweh. Hey, Amen. I'm going to look unto the Lord for my salvation, put my trust and faith in the Lord. It says, Therefore, I will look unto the Lord Yahweh. I will wait for the power of my salvation. I'm going to wait for the Lord to crack them skies. Yahweh shall to crack them skies and to deliver me, man. Meanwhile, I'm going to do the work of the Most High, man. I'm going to go out there in the highways and the byways, in season, out of season, push his word. I'm going to put videos up. You know, do out the week. I'm going to do what I have to do, man, to obtain salvation, man. I'll be right to say I'll be a part of the elect, man. I'm going to continue to do, if it's in the Lord's will, what I have to do, man, to get up out of this bitch, man, that we living in, man, that, that they call America, man, which is Babylon, according to the scriptures. It says, back in Micah chapter 7, verse 7, Therefore, I will look unto the Lord Yahweh, I will wait for the power of my salvation. My Lord, my power, will, will hear me. All my prayers, me doing the prayers constant to the Most High, Yahweh, 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 Shah, putting up videos, doing what I have to do. The Lord's going to hear my prayers, man. It says, verse 8, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. To my Esau, the so-called white man, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. Esau, the so-called white man, the rest of the nations pursued the Psalms, 80, the, 80, the, the 83rd chapter, the first verse on down. Also, two-thirds you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, y'all are my enemy too, man. Right along with Esau, the so-called white man, and the rest of the nations, man. And the nigger woman, and the Hispanic woman, and all the women of, of, of the prospective tribes, man. Y'all are our enemies, man. It says, rejoice not against me, O, o my enemy. We're not four. And we fell as a nation, man. We fell as a nation. Going back to 70 AD, when the Romans this, this conquered us, and we were scattered at the four corners of the earth, man. We fell as a nation, man. And the name Israel has been no more heard in remembrance, man. Now they got them gutter rats over there calling themselves Israelis. They occupying our land. They took our heritage, our culture. So Israel, Israelites, the true Israelites, is no more remembrance, man. So it says, back in Micah chapter seven, verse eight, "Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, and we fell as a nation in 70 A.D. I shall arise when I sit in darkness, and we sitting in darkness right now." In the land of America, it says, The Lord Yahweh shall be a light unto me. And what's that light? These scriptures, man. That's the light that the Most High shined upon me, man. These scriptures let me know that I'm an Israelite from, a, from my perspective tribe, bringing me back into remembrance of who I am, man. You know? Bring back to who I am. Bring, back, bring me back into remembrance of who I am, man. My perspective tribe, man. It says, it says, Rejoice not, back in Micah chapter 7, verse 8, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall arise. Because the Most High is going to rise Israel back up. He's going to rise up the trap. He's going to rise up the tabernacles of David, which has fallen, man. And we have fallen as a nation. And the Most High is going to rise us up, rise us back up again, man, as a nation, as a people. We're gonna be dumb. We're gonna run over you heathen, man. And Issa, you're gonna be a slave. We, after a thousand years, we're gonna do away with y'all, man. But we're gonna ring over the other heathen, man. Why? Because the Most High said so, man. It says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall. We fell as a nation, 70 AD. I shall arise. The Most High is rising up the tabernacles of David right now, which has fallen. The Most High is rising up the tabernacles of David. Right now, as we speak, as I'm doing this video, which has fallen, when I sit in darkness, which is the land of America, 
Because it's total darkness in the land of America. This land is bearing the faith. Homosexuality run rampant. Wickedness run rampant. Lesbianism. Transgenderism. This land is, is totally given to wickedness, man. And confusion. It says, When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord Yahweh shall be a light unto me. And what's, the, and what's that light that's being shined upon me? These scriptures, man, it's truth, man. Verse 9. I will bear the indignation, the, I will bear the righteous anger of the Lord. Yahweh, I'm going to read it again. Micah 7, verse 9. I will bear the indignation, the righteous anger of the Lord Yahweh, because I have sinned against him. And how have I sinned against the Most High? Do my forefathers, we, we went off and started worship with different deities, sacrificing our children to, to Molech, um, not observing the Lord's that's with commandments, committing adultery, being murderers, gangbangers, drug dealers. That's how we sit against the Most High, man. It says, but I'm going to bear the indignation of the Most High. Because I'm in the land of my captivity, pursuing pursue the um, Baruch. I think it's the third chapter or the fourth chapter, I'm not mistaken. I said, we said that we in the, we are yet, I think it's the third chapter, we are yet this day in our captivity. So I'm a better indignation of the Lord, man, I, because we, we have sinned against the Most High. It says, um, it says, um, I will bear the indignation, the righteous anger of the Lord Yahweh, because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause. And the Lord's about to plead our cause, man. The Most High is about to deliver us, man. We're at the end of the age of Esau. We're at the end of Esau's empire. Where the Most High is about to deliver his elect. Out of the land of captivity. We're in the land of captivity to this day, man. The Most High is about to deliver us, man. The Most High is about to deliver us out of the land of captivity, man. It says, um, therefore... It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. How the most high Yahweh, why Yahweh shines when execute judgment for me? Through concentrated fire. Through them chariots. By beaming itself in them chariots. Concentrated fire from them laser beams. Thermal nuclear destruction. Famine. Pestilence. War, race riots, that's how the most high is going to plead our cause, man. It says, it says until the Lord, it says, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light. And that light, and the most high, he said he will bring me forth to the light. And that light is these scriptures, man. The most high brought me forth to the light and gave me the um, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to understand these scriptures, man. He says, He will bring me forth to the light, and I will behold his righteousness, man. And I behold the most high's righteousness right now, man. Through his law, statutes, and commandments. Through the scriptures, man. Bring me back to remembrance of, of you know what I once knew, man. Back in the ancient world. Because we all are forefathers coming back, man, in the reincarnation. So I'm going to bear the indignation of the Most High, our captivity, our women come up against us, all around us, homosexuality. I'm going to bear that indignation, man. I'm going to plead our cause. Hey, so with that, how Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Bakak Wadash. And with that, Shalom.